Hello, my name is Lisa Shea. I'll be doing the narration for Bob C., who's one of the members of our Blackstone Valley Art Association. He also happens to be my boyfriend, and we've been together since 1995, so all of these pictures were taken while we were together. So I'll be inventing stories to go with them, with his permission, to describe the type of photos that he takes. This first one here was taken at the Missouri Botanical Garden and the Japanese Garden section of it, probably back in 1996. We were using film cameras at the time, and the original film picture of this is in color with a lots of greens and blues, but for the purpose of this show, we brought it into Photoshop, we turned it into black and white, and then we cranked up the contrast, and that's in part because James Hunt, who's one of our BVAA members, did a great workshop where he showed us some beautiful images that he had taken of weeds and other sticks and things in ponds, where he turned them black and white and cranked up the contrast. I like that effect immensely, so we did that here, and I think that it brings out the shapes of the petals much more and makes it more about the interplay of light and dark and the ripples in the reflection of the water. This next picture here was also taken with film, and it showcases one of Bob's loves for many years, and this was going to air shows. In this particular picture, it's the F-16s of the Thunderbirds, which is the United States Air Force air show wing, which would do acrobatics and formation flying. He and I used to go to air shows all the time, and we'd camp out nearby so that we could enjoy camping and then the air show. A key part of the challenge of taking photos of air shows was to try to get the camera in the exact right spot as these things flew by at top speed. It's a lot easier now with digital, where you can just snap millions of pictures and have them all take. But when you were working with film, and you just had one picture and had to get that picture just right, uh, it was a challenge, but it was a fun challenge. So in this one, the formation came out just right against the sky. And again, this was taken originally in color, but I really like the black and white version of it, where you just get the shape of the smoke and the shape of the planes in motion. This next picture is probably one of the last pictures taken with the old film camera before we switched over to digital. And this was taken down at the Everglades National Park in Florida. We used to go down there every year and do trips to explore the birding and the uh, wildlife that was there. The trails had alligators which would just lay right on the trail, right on the grass next to the trail or even right across the trail. So they were very, very up close and personal. So this wasn't taken with a zoom lens, this was taken uh, fairly close to them. And they were calm and pretty tame. You wouldn't want to sit on them or anything, but they certainly didn't mind if you went walking right past them. I love the detail that you get in this with the texture of the skin and the texture of the grass and the gleam in his eye. But they were pretty content, happy alligators, had a quiet, contented life. The Old Stone Church in West Boylston, Massachusetts is a very photogenic church. It's located right on the reservoir. It was built in 1891, and interestingly, pretty much shortly thereafter, first it was burned again, so they had to repair it and fix it, and then only a year or two after that, they decided to turn this water into a reservoir, so they didn't want people near it anymore. So the church has not been a used church in all that time. Now it stands there as a historic building, and it's beautiful in pictures for people to appreciate, but it's not being used as a, a worship church anymore. Uh, we've taken many pictures of this church in color, so it's mostly greens and blues and then the gray of the church against it. But I like this version where it's black and white, so you focus in on the flag that they have hanging on the far wall, on the crenellations of the tower, on the shapes of the triangles and the squares that are involved in here against the soft um, more abstract shapes of the trees and the water. This last image is a digital film image, and this was taken fairly recently. This is of a B-17 Boeing Flying Fortress. This is a vintage plane from World War II, and it was kept alive by the Collings Foundation here in Massachusetts. And they would take this plane and other related planes around to air shows, and they would actually fly them, and people could fly inside them and see what it was like to fly these old machines. And you could see that there's the ammunition there and the controls to do the firing. It was a wonderful uh, piece of history to be able to walk around inside and to explore. Sadly, in 2019, when they were flying this in one of their air shows in Hartford, the plane ended up crashing and killing some of the people on board. So we were able to get one of the last photos of it before it met its untimely end.